Hello Taurus. I'm looking forward to Taurus Tuesday. So let's see what the cards have for you today. Before we get into it though, quick warning, I am doing a shadow reading today. What this means is that um, we're going to look at the deep dark parts of ourselves, our inner world, uh, emotions, thoughts that we bury and tend to hide because it's quite painful to look at them and to deal with them it's easier to kind of avoid doing that work so it can be things like toxic behavior patterns um you know things that it could be things like imposter syndrome or uh, you know attachment issues from childhood it can be all sorts of things the thing with shadow readings is they can they the point of them is to trigger you so that you go away and have a think about it and do that work. It's bringing those things up to the surface, up to the light. So huge trigger warning with this reading. If you are going through anything like counselling or mental health issues right now, this may not be your reading right now. It may not be appropriate for you. I'm not a counsellor. I don't know have the skills to deal with those kind of things. I'm just reading cards. But I know that doing the shadow work has helped me through tarot readings and I'd like to offer that opportunity to other people to really take ownership over what is appropriate for them and what is not appropriate for them and to come into this reading with an open mind and a bravery and willingness to kind of see what is said. Now, the things that come out here may not be anything about you at all. It's a general reading. I don't know you personally. I don't know your personal circumstances. I'm just telling a story. So you can either take it on board and think, oh, actually, mm, I do, ow. I've, I've definitely had readings myself where it's felt so, like, like I felt so targeted. <laughs> like I've really been called out in readings, but you go away and if you're open to it, you go, yeah, I do do that. I do, actually, I do have that negative behaviour sometimes. And uh, yeah, you can go away and you can address it and, and rethink like, oh, actually, maybe I am acting up a bit in this area of my life right now. Maybe I need to do a bit more work on this. Um, and so it's, it, it does have that sting to it, but it's um, because it's bringing it to the surface. So huge warning, only go into this if you feel open and ready to to do that work on yourself if you're not quite there yet that's okay just watch out for the next set of readings uh so intuitive messages for you then i've got um my breath core like a just like a catch so i don't know if something's made you catch your breath or you've had a bit of tightness to your chest all of a sudden because of some reason um i've wrote down shortness of breath then I was heard it, hearing something that sounded to me like rind, like bacon rind, but I don't think it was rind. It was more like, it could have been like Rhine. I think there's a, is there a river, is it in France? It's in Europe, excuse me, it's in Europe somewhere, right? The river Rhine. Um, I think it's R-H-I-N-E, is it? I don't know, my geography's bad. I was never good at rivers. Um, or it could have been the, the name Brian, but with a strong Y sound. So like Bri Brian, Bryn, Brian something like that. Then I've heard very clearly Olivia, so I don't know if somebody's called Olivia. If these don't relate to you, it's fine. It could just be a little heads up to somebody out there, right? It doesn't have to relate to everybody. Um, then I sort of heard and saw Shard, uh, which I think is the big building in London where The Apprentice is filmed, right? It, like London Shard. So it doesn't have to be that, but that's the way they showed me that message. Um, then I heard Get It Out in the Open, and airing out the wound um so well i heard get it i heard get it out in the open um but they were showing me like a wound uncovered you know like if you've been wearing a plaster you like sometimes have to take the plaster off and let the air get to it so i feel like this is probably symbolic of some kind of excuse me <laughs> how very rude of you i do like to have the win window open it's very hot at the moment so i need that breeze and i quite like the background noise personally so if this isn't your reading that's fine go and find somebody who suits you better but i like i like the energy flow and the noise of, of the world around me so yeah um could be emotional like wounds like you you have to let something air out so we'll see we'll see um the song that came through for your reading was uh red hot chili peppers no hey oh it randomized on spotify when i asked for a song for you so i'm gonna leave that there we'll see what comes out in the reading but if you want to go and look up that song, if you're not familiar with it, Snow hey -O by uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, there may be something relevant to you there that you may want to look at. All right, so 
Taurus. I'm using the Alistair Crowley Mirror of the Soul deck. Now, it's a very controversial deck by a very controversial figure. Um, it took me a while to, to find a happy relationship with this deck. Any tarot card, uh, tarot card reader will tell you that you have a relationship with each deck. They have a personality. And this one and I, we, we got off to a bit of a rocky start. I wasn't quite sure how to take it, how to how to use it. But when I use it for shadow work, it works really, really well. Again, it's bringing parts of ourselves to light that we need to open up and heal. So yeah, bit of a controversial figure. I know it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but just go along with it, right? If we're talking about, yeah, we're, we're looking for those parts of ourselves that we, we try and hide. So let's see what comes out. So, oh, Taurus, you've got Queen of Cups. I would not have suspected that for you. That is interesting. Sorrow as well. The Three of Swords, Sorrow and Queen of Cups. Do you know what I'm getting immediately here? I don't know if it's you. Well, you know, take it as you. For some of you, I'm getting Strong Mother. Some of you may have, have had issues with your mother. Now, with it being the Queen of Cups in the upright, it could be an overly attentive mother. So, you know, best intentions in the world, um, perhaps too, too loving in terms of like, maybe they did too much for you, which made it harder for you to develop. Like a, a smother, a smother energy is what's coming through. Uh, doesn't have to be that at all. Um, it's just my initial reaction. So I'm actually going to read this card to you. I'll bring it up as well so you can have a closer look while I do this. So you may have strong cancer in your chart. It's typically a Cancerian card. Um, it's basically a card that says the person who pulls this card is um, very emotionally stable, uh, looking to express love, looking to tell others how they feel, um, you know, very in tune with their emotions, quite intuitive as well. So, yeah, interesting that it should come out as shadow energy for you. But we'll see what it says. The watery aspect of water, as above, so below. Emotions shown openly, motherhood, emotional integrity. The queen's form is enclosed in light beams, so you only see her if you look closely. Her being cannot be understood intellectually. You must feel and sense it. She is shrouded in mystery, and if you wish to comprehend this mystery, you will have to go deeply into the realm of sensitivity and feeling. Yeah, you need to open up, right? The calm sea on which she rests mirrors her image almost perfectly. What she radiates outwardly is reflected in or, reflect, or, or is a reflection of the deepest emotional reaches of her being. She is in contact with her feelings and shows them openly and authentically. The people around her may not always understand her. I was just thinking, for some of you, it could be that there's a person like this around you who is very emotionally open and you have difficulty with that. You're not perhaps as as comfortable with um, emotional displays as whoever this person is. Uh, it could be you, but just take it as it resonates. Um, The people around her may not always understand her, but this is not a problem for her. She will not compromise emotionally, for in order to do so, she would have to de deny herself and might lose the glow of her beauty in doing so. So that's about living authentically, understanding how you feel, trusting how you feel, intu you know, intuition, um, and being so in touch with your feelings that it doesn't matter what anyone else has to say about them what anyone else thinks about them um because all that matters is that you're honest with yourself and you have self-acceptance so there could be a lesson in accepting your own feelings the white lotus blossoms on the lake and in her hand a symbol of um in wait sorry the white the white lotus blossoms on the lake and in her hand symbolize love of a giving nature Lotus roots come out of the dark, muddy depths of the water, but the leaves and petals of the lo lotus remain untouched by the mud and water. Water rolls off the petals or rests on them as beads of water. They re remain connected to the water and mud, growing from them, but they are different, different and separate. Blossoming love, too, grows from unconscious, real unconscious realms of instinct and drive and is fed by it. 
The light of consciousness causes unconscious energies to, to arise in a new form. The old appears in a new light and is transfigured and, an, and emotional rebirth has taken place. The stork, messenger of the returning spring, is harbinger of the new. The card can be seen as having some sort of connection with motherhood. This lotus in the queen's hand is also the lotus of Isis, the great mother. Cancer the crab is the shell-shaped cup also indicates the domestic realm of the family. Indication. By showing your feelings openly, you become beautiful. There may be people who don't understand you. Don't concern yourself about it. There are enough others with whom you can share your feelings. Question. Okay, this is a question to you, Taurus. Are you open to your emotions and feelings? Suggestion. Trust your feelings and live in harmony with them. Affirmation. So this is an affirmation for you to say. If you want to say this every morning until your next reading, you can go for that. It says, my openness, sorry, no, waiting for the noise to go again. My openness and vitality make me beautiful. My openness and vitality make me beautiful. So learning to open up more, learning to, you know, even like if you're feeling sorrow, not to try and avoid that, but to embrace it, to be like, I feel pain, I feel sadness, I feel sorrow, and that's okay because I'm human and I'm real and I'm capable of feeling complex emotions. You know, not to be like, bad feelings are bad, not gonna feel them. That's not, that's not healthy. Um, what is healthy is to feel what you need to feel, whatever it is, whether it's seen as good or bad, feel what you need to feel, take some time to, to just sit in those feelings, investigate them, figure out what that means for you, and then live in that truth. And what anyone else thinks about that doesn't matter. What matters is how you feel and if you accept how you feel. Um, if you try and avoid feelings, then that's that's when that shadow energy comes into play. So more for Taurus, please tell me more about the shadow energy, the starborn in the reverse. So there's definitely oh, the one as well. There's definitely something about What I'm getting intuitively, now this is purely intuitive, with this being in the reverse and this Queen of Cups being like a mother for me, again with this kind of like overly affectionate mother that could be coming through, um, I'm getting, I came across this term a while back and it keeps coming up in my readings now, um, it's called Golden Child Syndrome and I hadn't really heard of it before but basically it's when, when um, a parent or you know a caregiver gives too much love and attention to a child and basically says like treats them like a golden child like they can do no wrong and tells them you're going to be brilliant you're going to do great things you know you're going to be a high achiever you are amazing and then you know they can't tie the shoelaces they can't do the buttons it confuses the child and it creates this weird sense of like a duality of like an overinflated inflated ego where it's like I'm brilliant but then it's like, but I can't do these basic tasks. So it's like, as you get into adulthood, you have this underlying sense of like, I should be achieving, I should be brilliant. But then the reality of, of things not working out for you, you know, jobs that you don't get and disappointments. And it's hard to kind of put those two things together. So it's golden child syndrome. I'm getting a little bit of that with the starborn in reverse. Now that's not going to be for everybody. And again, I'm not a therapist. I just have seen these things on the internet and I'm telling you what I know. But, you know, if you feel like that's relevant and that's something that you've been struggling to deal with, it may be worth talking to um, a licensed counsellor or somebody who can, um, somebody who is uh, clinically trained to, to help you through uh, difficult um difficult life experiences and like I say it can be even the best intention people the best intention people it's like oh you're struggling with your shoelaces let me do it for you but then the child doesn't learn to do it for themselves so there's a lack of independence there um okay but in the upright the starborn the divine child the star child the destined an elusive yet radiant aspect of the self the starborn archetype points to the cosmic spark of light that arrives with each being at birth the moment the newborn crowns, the royal stars above are said to constellate in a unique shape that maps our path in the world. The idea of destiny is controversial, yet the starborn naturally feels a sense of destination and purpose, aiming itself towards a future that is beyond the mundane. When this card appears, travel back to your birth story for clues and insight. 
What did you desire when you were young? Practice seeing your life from a mythic point of view rather than a series of logistics. Read the story of the three fates and envision yourself born under the stars with a unique destiny. When light, a lighting, trusting, vibrant, aimed, but it came out in reverse and we are doing shadow reading, so it says when dark, feelings of misalignment, loss of longing. Go deeper, tripping over joy by Hafez and Shakespeare's star-crossed lovers. When this card appears, don't be surprised if you receive a surge of desire for a long-lost dream, one you haven't visited since childhood. Let this idea shake you up. It could be like you were overprotected from something you wanted to do, like you wanted to do something, but there's this kind of protection energy that, that prevented you from following your dreams because it was seen as something perhaps like dangerous or you weren't ready for it, something like that. Have your chart read. Study your constellated, constellated shape. Ask questions. What does the process conjure in you? Faith or mistrust? What would happen if you saw the galaxy as your ally? All right. We'll see. We'll see what else comes out with that. So, um, what can help Taurus with the shadow energy? What can help Taurus with the shadow energy? Oh, so courage and balance. And then Luna's there as well. So Luna immediately speaks to me as, as like moon energy without knowing the meaning of this card too well. Um, the image and the name Luna makes me think of the moon. Um, the Queen of Cups is a Cancerian card. Cancer is ruled by the moon. Um, and the moon rules emotions. So again, with this emotion business is coming through quite strongly. So you have balance and courage. So to remain balanced, to balance out emotions and to have the courage to do so. Let's find the dragon book and see what they have to say. So balance says, what you are, so this again is how to work with the shadow energy in order to, to ease yourself out of that, that, those dark corners. Um, what you are experiencing in, in your life now is transitional. This dragon balance depicts um, aspects of us as a whole, our light and shadow sides. There you go, right? <laughs> Doing shadow work. As humans, we show the world our many different sides, for we are multifaceted multifaceted and can change from situation to situation. These aspects could include our compassion, frustration, love, irritation, joy, and so on. It's funny how it's naming different emotions. So I'm going to run through those again. Compassion, frustration, love, irritation, joy. His appearance in your spread is to remind you that everything is perfect, even if, even if the situation you find yourself in is pushing your buttons. Excuse me a second. Balance says, fear and frustration only serve one purpose, and that is to disempower. Ah, it's interesting. Fear and frustration disempower. Life on earth is all about achieving a personal equilibrium, not a, not a equilibrium about everybody else. It's none of their business. This is your emotions and your inner balance. Seeing things for what they are, balancing your daily activities and demands with time to laugh and play. You run the risk of becoming too serious and caught up in the dramas that are unfolding in your life now by not allowing yourself time to play. You can call upon my energy and wisdom to guide you to be more balanced in how you view or feel about your situation. You cannot have darkness without the light or vice versa, the sun without the moon. You've got the moon there, right? Do you, need to know, do you need to learn to say no or to look at your personal boundaries? Are they being crossed too often? Maybe you should say yes to things which, although they make you fearful, will assist your personal growth and spiritual growth. Remember that what you are experiencing in your life now is transitional. It won't last forever. This, much like life, sorry, this, like much of life, is a phase, a lesson, and it too will pass soon. If you find yourself in a perplexing situation, ask for his wisdom to be bestowed upon you. Balance will guide you to understanding, to know in your heart, in your so heart, emotions, right? Um, what you can do or indeed if you need to do anything at all. Sometimes all that's required is patience. 
and they have courage. Immediately, as soon as I looked at it, it gave me Courage to Change by Sia, which is Have I the Courage to Change? So I'm going to make a note of that. As always, all the songs that come through uh, will be down in that description box. You can open that up with a little, uh, if you look to sort of the right of the uh, title of the video, there's a little downward facing triangle. You can click that and the description box opens and closes. So you can go and look down there and your songs for the reading will be in that description box down below. You can go and look them up. You can Google them. You can look them up on YouTube um, and just see if the lyrics jump out to you. If anything in the video imagery jumps out to you, then maybe extra messages in the songs that come through. Um, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I've just ate my dinner. It was a salad. It's made me all, excuse me, uh, courage, be brave, stand tall. You've got this. This beautiful, powerful dragon comes to the fore when we need to be strong, usually on an emotional level. We may need her strength for many life situations. For example, when we have lost a loved one, I am picking that up, um, or are making huge life changes. So you've got all this stuff about a big change, a big transitionary period in your life. And if you're going through some kind of big change, big transition, um, then, um, of course you're feeling a lot of emotions don't be afraid of that embrace it they're there to they're there to guide you they're there to um then it's natural it's normal to feel things when you're going through a big change so don't shy away from that you know ride those waves in a balanced calm way where you feel what needs to be felt you give yourself the space and the time that you need to do that um, whether that's taking a bit of time off work or um you know, just saying to your friends and family, I'm going to turn my phone off at seven o'clock every evening and I don't want to be disturbed until the next day. It's like, just know I'm going off radar because I just need that time to myself. Whether you want to go and have a spa day, a hot bath, whatever you need um, in this time of change to, to remain in touch with your emotions, to accept it's okay to feel whatever you feel um, and to... Um, to allow those things to flow out of you. Don't try and bottle things up or suppress them or deny them. Uh, so her strength may, uh, we may need her strength in many life situations and we, we may need an extra dose of courage. She is there to support you, an anchor to hold on to. She says, you are safe. It's fine to be strong and vulnerable at the same time. That hit, I don't know if that hit you as much as it hit me. For some of you, you may, um, some of you may have lost somebody in your life. Uh, doesn't have to be a mother, but that I'm getting that through. A mother figure, grandmother, um, a female, um, doesn't even have to be a woman. It's, it's, it's just somebody who has a lot of that kind of nurturing energy. Like a, I'm hearing caregiver, like caregiver energy. And it could be that you're trying to support others right now, to, especially if you're male, you identify as male. You could definitely be in a, I mean, anyone can be, right? It's just the energy that I'm picking up on. Um, it's like trying to be strong for other people, like trying to be the shoulder to cry on. And it's like you, you're trying to be strong, but it's okay for you to also need support in this time. You don't have to... You don't have to be strong for everybody else. You know, you can you can bond together and share those feelings. Um, that's okay. Um, it's you are safe. It's fine to be strong and vulnerable at the same time. You are capable of a great many things, and it's time to acknowledge them and believe in yourself. Your depth of character is your ally. Your ability and tenacity are your anchors. Now is the time to own them. Be brave, stand tall, you've got this. You are far braver than you give yourself credit for. If you find your courage failing and your self-doubt taking over, call upon courage to find your feet. She will guide you through any challenging situations and support your self-belief. All you have to do is ask. She assures you that everything is exactly as it's supposed to be, even if you are unable to see the bigger picture. Courage is a perfect Med meditation partner and I dropped the book <laughs> drop the book um, all right so that's your advice on how to move forward and how to to work with your shadow side right to bring it to the light to make it serve you rather than means rather than serving it um, 
and where will this lead Taurus so where what's the light where where is Taurus heading here please yes <laughs> it says just say yes I don't know Taurus just say yes warrior woman courage warrior woman have you answered your deepest calling so you're taking you I'm just noticing this truth <sighs> I'm sorry, I heard sword of truth, so I was going to say sword and I said truth. This this upright sword on both of these images. Now you're ruled, Taurus, you're ruled by Venus, as is Libra. And I am picking up on this kind of Libra energy. Um, it could just be because we share the same, I'm Libra, it could be because we share the same ruling planet. But there's this kind of like, just like, look at that, the courage, the sword. It feels like wielding your own truth regarding some kind of pain or sorrow or heartache. It feels like owning it, right? Owning your feelings like the Queen of Swords would. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? Because you have this Starborn card that said you had put some kind of like destiny or dream or sense of purpose or wish that you may have been denying. And it feels like you're coming into a time where you're being encouraged to say yes to things. That's really interesting. It's been coming up for me a lot as well, just say yes. Let's find it. I want to read this one. I don't think I've been reading this for everybody, but I really want to know what this one says. I say everybody, I've only done Aries and myself. <laughs> I can't remember who I read it for and who I didn't read it for. Um, Oh my God, I, am, I don't know if I've ever looked at this page before. Taurus, I looked it up. Don't overthink it, just say yes. So maybe you're heading towards the confidence and the courage to say yes to more things. You're not gonna overthink things anymore. You're not gonna let opportunities pass you by. If you want to do something, you're gonna do it. And you don't care what anyone has to say about it. Oh, you may care, you may care. But you're also owning your truth of like your purpose, your destiny, what you want to do. And you're not letting other people talk you down or hold you back. All right. Tell me more about um, the shadow energy, please, for Taurus. King of Pentacles. There could be something to do. I mean, this is your energy. The King of Pentacles, the Muse of Materials, is your energy. But it's talking to me about something to do with like finances and financial control. It could be there's, there's something going on in the family to do with uh, financial burdens um, or you know the need to financially support others or either you being dependent on others financially or them being dependent on you. It could be that you care for an, um, a, a, a sick mother and you know, you pay for their care home because you are in a position to be able to do that. There's this sense of dependency with finances here with this muse. But again, I'm, I'm also getting this thing about almost like you being on a, a, a path of destiny. It's like you want to go through this portal. I'm just thinking about how the portal and this are kind of like the same shape. So it's like you're destined to, to go somewhere that I feel could be quite abundant for you. Um, you know quite a profitable opportunity and you're on the path to doing this but it's like you have to pass by again it could be like controlling a controlling feminine energy in your life now it doesn't have to be a woman it's but it's coming through as like mother like a mother that controls the finances or a mother who's dependent on your finances she's got her hands out right it could be two people but there's a sense of like you feel small, you feel intimidated by this energy. This energy feels a lot bigger than you, but you need to pass through it in order to follow your dreams and, you know, your truth. Possibly for some of you, don't take that if it doesn't resonate. Tell me more about balance and courage for Taurus, please. Two of Cups. I mean, the Two of Emotions is quite a yin-yang card. I mean, look at... If I show you the kind of, I hope you can see this okay, the yin-yang sign there, it's like you can turn it round. 
this card gives me that kind of same yin yang energy of like whichever way you look at this two of cups card it's the same so the two of cups is normally in the upright it's like somebody who's your equal emotional equal they are um they you see eye to eye um on the same page as you it's like there's an instinctive connection between you an instinctive bond um in the reverse this normally means it's not that you know it's somebody who's not equal to you emotionally but with this specific image in this card this gives me that kind of yin yang energy it's like they're not exactly the same as you they may have come from a different background they may uh, be on the other side of the world from you you know upside down um, they may be you may be like chalk and cheese right opposites attract energy but it's like whichever way you look at it this person they see you eye to eye they are your person so there's something with that it may be that you've got some kind of Again, it comes from, it seems like it comes from a place of love, right? Uh, so um, if you're supporting someone financially, it's because you love them enough to do that. Uh, you want them to be comfortable. If somebody is trying to control you, especially through finances, it, you know, it seems because it's the Queen of Cups, it seems like they're trying to protect you from something in some sort of way. But here with this balance and courage, it's like, it can, it can be talking again about the shadow side of yourself, you know, the two sides of yourself coming together, becoming whole, becoming clearer about who you are. And then we have this Just Say Yes card. You, yeah, you've got a decision coming up. When you do the shadow work, you'll be faced with a decision point, a crossroads, uh, left or right. Uh, it could be it comes in the form of an offer. It could be it comes in the form of um, needing to do, to accept a job opportunity there's some kind of decision point and you're being told just say yes now do you use, use your own intuition and uh, your knowledge of your own circumstances but if you needed a green light i think that's the cards giving you a green light but again trust your emotions your instincts that's a big message here emperor yeah take ownership um look the the talk about warrior woman warrior woman and the emperor look at that that is ownership, right? Have you answered your deepest calling? It feels like a need to step up into something. Tell me more about this Muse and Materials. Why is the Muse and Materials here? They're telling me read it, so I will. So this is the King of Pentacles, if you're not familiar with this deck. It is your card in the tarot. Tends to be someone who's very good with money, good at career, somebody who can help others out financially. It's to do like finances, work, skills, um, these kind of things. But oh, I'll come up, I'll come up here so I can see if you can see. So, uh, keywords: abundance, earth energy, uh, life, material success. You could be quite tied to material success as well. There could be something shadowy going on with um, you putting too much value into material things um, as a way, perhaps to avoid emotion is what they're telling me the journey of creating possible prosperity being able to provide for those you love the joy of a life well lived grounding into the earth gratitude comfort wealth happiness health in the garden of life she finds herself at a door above it sits the muse of materials reflected in all of her nature she whispers from the flowers the grass the trees she flitters among the birds and the babbles in the creeks this muse uses all the materials of the earth to bring her world into form. She looks down and offers a lesson of manifesting an abundance. Sweet creator, these things are yours for the taking and the using, the fusing and the gentle forming. Your harvest, little sprout, arises from the earth, so ground into her low humming energy and breathe in her humidity and warmth. I mean, don't breathe in my humidity and warmth right, warmth right now, you don't want to do that. It's time to take another small step towards the gardens of life and commit to watering, healing, dancing and loving as much as you can. So love as much as you can, Taurus. Material successes and joys are arriving. Seek the grounding energy of earthly delights and know that your own fertile lands are blooming now. So mesh with me in this nest of wealth, a plentiful snug nutrition. Absorb this magic, the garden of health. Walk the way towards certain fruition just say yes i don't know maybe this is somebody coming in for you I'm not sure okay 
Tell me more about the music materials for Taurus, please. <laughs> okay, uh, so towards me, please. Which way up? Oh. <laughs> so you've got the equivalent, the female equivalent of the King of Materials, uh, the Queen of Pentacles. King and Queen of Pentacles is, is on the board. So this is typically Capricorn energy, could easily be your energy as well. Again, somebody who's good at business, uh, money, skills. Uh, they're very they're very successful uh, at what they do now this doesn't mean you're you know ceo of a company although you could be um, it means that if you're running a household you do it efficiently you do it well you know what you're doing you 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 know you people are in good hands if you're running things um this is husband and wife or business partners when these two show up together but again we've got this sense of with them coming from different spreads different decks um I feel like you and somebody else come from different backgrounds. Now, it could be you're teaming up in business with somebody. It could be that this is your parents. Uh, your parents could come from different backgrounds. But there's something going on here. This is normally like a collaborative energy. Um, and somebody's not walking away from this. The Eight of Cups in reverse is a return. So there's this return to, could be again, a mother figure, a boss. Um, an opportunity that you're not walking away from. The Queen and King of Pentacles can offer things you know they're in a position to offer jobs to offer money so somebody has possibly walked away from something they're returning I don't know if that's you or if that's somebody else they told me commitment okay tell me more about the two of emotions which way yeah, whoever this is, they feel like they're part of your soul tribe. They feel like they, you know, you could have had different lifetimes with this person. It's the sort of person like, they're telling me the Savage Garden song, I knew I loved you before I met you. It doesn't mean it has to be a love interest, it can be friendship. This normally means friendship rather than love, uh, romantic love. But you feel like you've got some kind of support network here. Um, it could also mean some kind of event. So again, you could be going to some kind of event where you're going to meet somebody. Uh, tell me about just say yes and the, tell me about the choice what's the two of inspiration what's the choice you, whatever it is you're going to take a leap of faith the full card is leaping into something new really trusting your intuition like this is whatever this choice is for you it could be different for everybody you're saying yes you're, you're taking a, a leap towards whatever this is like if there was a card in the tarot to represent just say yes it would be the full card and again with these three people so it's something to do with like a friendship group, a network, a soul tribe. And you're going to say yes. And you're going to say yes because it feels right to you. And it's because you it's what you want to do. And it's because um, it feels good. That's why we say yes to things because it feels good, right? And you're not going to overthink it. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading was helpful to you. Um... I have to say, of the readings that I've done, and I have done a few shadow side readings for myself with this deck, uh, as I've been getting used to using it, I this was one of the trickiest ones for me. I didn't quite know what he was trying to get to here, and I'm going to be honest and say that. Um, if I don't know, I'm going to tell you I don't know. So I'm hoping that you know and you understood just by me reading the cards and saying what the cards meant, that you understood what was going on there, what you needed to work on. This looks really good. This looks like you've got, it looks like you're finding balance, you're finding people who match your vibrational level, people who understand you emotionally as well, if you hadn't felt understood here, whether this is like work, family, whatever this is. Yeah, and you're moving towards things that feel right for you. Opening up your emotions by doing the shadow work, right? Going towards things that just feel right, that just feel good, that you feel comfortable taking that leap of faith into. Like, like you don't even have to question it. You just feel, you just know it's a yes, right? So if you're questioning it, if you're, I mean, it says don't overthink it. But if it doesn't feel right, then that's not what that is. If it feels right, if it, you want to do it, if you love these people, then it's right for you. I hope that helps. 
you've got a lot of stuff about using your emotions here so i think that's the key takeaway um i'm going to pull a couple more songs for you out my knee cricked i'm getting old <laughs> i'm going to pull a couple more songs for you um when i close out this reading so do check out that description box down below thank you for spending your time with me today um you know hit that notification bell subscribe uh leave me a like leave me a comment thank you for everybody who is doing that um you know stealth watchers are welcome too and take care and i'll see you again soon bye taurus